All right, guys, today we're going to be installing our hardware in the Thermaltake Armor Revo Gene case. And just to go over our hardware here, we have our Z77 motherboard, of course, with a normal air cooler. We have a 1,000 watt power supply, GTX 680, hard drive, Blu-ray drive, and an SSD. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is install your motherboard. And one thing I noticed when I was getting this case ready to install is that there's no opening up here at the top for to you know to route your CPU power. I think it's like an oversight by Thermaltake or something. I mean, they have the cable routing holes in here and you know they want you to route the cables behind the case, but they don't give you the option to route your CPU power up here. I think it's just a huge mistake. Um, every case that's made for cables to be routed behind the back, as this one is, should have that opening. So I think it's just a big oversight, but let's go ahead and put our motherboard in here and it should go in just nice and easily. Go ahead and line everything up. And the holes here line up perfectly. Um, that's a big thing with a lot of cases. Sometimes these holes don't line up, but these line up 100% perfectly. So let's go ahead. We're gonna secure this with screws and move on to the next step. And now we are on to the hard drives and we're gonna start with the three and a half drive first. So Again, you just take these out and all of these trays again support two and a half inch and three and a half inch drives. And the three and a half inch drive installation is toolless. You kind of just line these pegs up and put them in here. You can actually take these pieces out. They're just pieces of plastic. And you can take them out, line these holes up, put the plastic like this and press them back in just as easily. And you just go ahead and slide this back in and lock it into place. Now for two and a half inch drive installation, you're gonna to have to use screws that line up with these holes, which I'm gonna show you in just one second. Now I have my two and a half inch hard drive here and you will have to remove the uh, plastic pegs here on this side to get it in, but you can see it's just secured with four screws right there. So we can just easily, again, take it, slide it in, lock it into place, lock our three and a half inch into place and we're ready to install our optical drives. Optical drive installation is extremely easy and toolless. These two little uh, pegs here that stick out, all you do is press them in like that, and that makes it very easy for you to take the bay cover off. And all you do with your drive is simply slide it in here, and just keep on sliding it back, and there it goes, it locks into place, and it is not going to move. Power supply installation was actually a bit harder than expected. It actually took me four or five tries to actually get the power supply to line up correctly. I'm not really sure what the deal was. There is a little lip back here that you have to lift the power supply over, but even then it still wasn't even, it wasn't lining up with the back. Um, again, another oversight by Thermal Take. This should be extremely easy to do. And I've installed probably over a hundred cases with power supplies and this one just didn't work out that great. Um, you know, it can be very, very frustrating for the user for this. So again, another oversight by Thermal Take. Now you can see we have everything installed here and it is a little bit messy just for the fact again that you cannot route your CPU cable behind the, the uh, motherboard. And you know, there is the there are cable routing holes but I'm gonna show you an issue that we found with those as well. So if we put this around here, again, you can see all your cable mess back here, but we should be able to close this down. But all of these inserts here uh, come off extremely easily. You can see this one just hanging here. It seems like every time I put one through uh, one of the cable routing holes, these inserts just fell out. Again, this is a quality thing, and it's not normal that we see this from Thermal Take, but it's happened with this case. I mean, you know, these, these should not come off as easily as they did pretty much any cable I put through these, they just came off. Um, it just wasn't a good thing. But you can see that your CPU uh, cut out here, you're gonna be able to install an aftermarket CPU cooler without any issues right here as we do have right here. Um, but basically that is it for our installation here. Um, I'm gonna put the side panels back on and turn it on so you guys can see the lights. When you first turn on your system, the first thing that you are going to notice is the logo on the front of the case actually lights up and it does this fading in and out thing. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, and if we move down here, you can see the intake fan lights up nice and bright blue as well. Moving up, we can see the top fan here lit up nice and bright blue. Again, this looks really, really cool and it's going to really light the inside of your case. And again, all these fans, the lights can be turned on and off if you like.